neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Michigan's coaches admitted to us that they game plan around this guy. It's kind of different for a wide receiver. It's usually a running back or a quarterback, but he's paid off for him so far. He really has, and I, I found it very refreshing as we travel around the country and, and visit with so many of these players to find a high-profile wide receiver who's a selfless guy. He's a great leader from everything that they've told us. He's a guy that wants to go out there and make sure that the team gets to win first before he gets his catches. Kind of a rare breed in today's game of college football, but he's an exceptional player. First guy on the field and the last guy off of practice. Washed out, and he's going to get sacked. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Got a man. Watch out here. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Excellent punt. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Some open field. Tackle made at the 49. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. That makes it first and ten. Quick throw to the tight end. About six yards on the play. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. That'll make it second and four. Here he goes. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. the 10 yard line it's second down and down he goes at the two brought down at the six yard line This should be an easy field goal. Ole Miss is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ole Miss is in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. receiver first down well they didn't need too much on that play and let me tell you they didn't have any room to spare because they barely picked up the first down first down 10 yards to go ball on the 36 and they make the stop at the 39 Fetches all over him. They bring him down for a loss. They lose three yards there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. So we're looking at another third down here. He's at midfield. Tackle at the 49-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49. Gain as he works to the right side. This is the eighth play of this drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Exciting first quarter comes to an end. The Rebels with a three-point lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Gets to about the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, first down. He's got it with room to run. He's at the 20, and he's taken down at the 16-yard line. From the 16-yard line, first down. For 
throws middle of the tight end. And he's tackled around the seven yard line. We're at the 12th play of the drive. They'll bring him down at the six. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. play of the drive. Touchdown, Wolverines! There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 14-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He sends this one deep. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Second and ten. Ball on the 43. He gets hit out of bounds at the 46. That makes it first and ten. to his receiver. Tackled for a loss. Loss of about two. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. He passes it. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down at about the 21. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Here's a counter play. Nice run to the outside. They come out in a five-wide set. Easy, easy. Green, nine. He laterals the ball. Knocked out of bounds at the eight. That's good. That'll bring up second and two.
Nice run up the middle. Boy, this poor defense. That is the sixth first down on this drive alone. They're going to have to bring in some backups because this defense is not going to be able to stay on the field much longer. And you can see the confusion. They're looking over the sidelines to the defensive coordinator. They need help. They want to try something different because what they're trying right now is just not working. Second down and goal. Ball on the one. Touchdown, Rebels. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. So an 11 play, 81 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 10-7. Ole Miss is ready to kick it away. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you gotta recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Five wide. That tackle could have saved a very big play. First and ten, ball on the 47. Tackle made at the 34. four yard line it's first down fires it out and he shoved out of bounds at about the 19 yard line From the 19 yard line. First down. Pass is caught, the defense lays him out. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. The Wolverines taking their first time out of the half. Gets it out, and he's met immediately. They lose four there. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Third and eight. Ball on the 17. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds around the 14-yard line. Michigan is looking to tie things up. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. They're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. It's caught 
first down, and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. From their own 42-yard line, first down. That's a great tackle at the 35. Check, check. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and nine. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes around the 47 yard line. Check, check. Quick strike to the back, no good. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. So they're gonna go for it here. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He's under pressure, throws it deep. Knocked down, incomplete. So we've played two quarters. This one's all even at 10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right, and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good... Well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Red and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Very close game now as we start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. Brought down at the 21-yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. There's a laser across the middle. Brought down around the 35-yard line. Watch 14. Watch 14. it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a That makes it second and six. Receiver dropped it incomplete. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. He's tackled in the open field. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Throws 
in the middle. Tackle around the 31 yard line. That's a game of three on the play. Third down. Hey, look 48. Hey, look 48. Pulls in the pass and steps out. Love to watch quarterbacks on third down. You just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach to the game. This is another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. He picked up the first down, they get a new set of downs. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Number 48 on the tackle at the nine yard line. That makes it first and goal. And he's taken down just outside the goal line. That brings him second. It's second and goal. One yard to the goal line. the extra point. The kick is good. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 21. tackled at about the 33 yard line. Makes it to the 41. That makes it second and two. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He hits him hard at the 46-yard line. Good outside run there. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. First and ten, ball on the 19-yard line. He's out of bounds. That's a loss. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's going to try and scramble. They bring him down. The defensive end just put on a clinic that time. You know, they might want to double team this guy with a back the next time they pass. We're at play number nine of this current drive. There's a 
strike completes. Inside the 10. And a huge touchdown play. Got his number call on the pass play and came through with a score. Well, this is what separates good backs from great ones. You have to have the ability to contribute to the passing game. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Michigan gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. down immediately. And he throws it away. So they run the same pass play again. Yeah, typically you'll see this when teams are having success with a particular player. They feel confident about a play's chances. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Runs left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. He fought. No, he faked it. And he's tackled at the 47. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. So with one quarter remaining, good game here, 17-17. Who's going to win the fourth quarter? Whoever does will win the ball game. Makes it out to about the 36. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. Gets it, he's in space. And he's finally shoved out at the six yard line. Who wants it more? First and goal. He's taken down around the five yard line.
looking touchdown. Once you get inside the 10-yard line, this halfback is automatic. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice six-play, 47-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at about the 31. That'll make it second and four. Here's a handoff, left side. And they push him out right around the 34. Gets out to about the 44-yard line. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So the penalty makes it first and 15. out of bounds around the 42 yard line they completed it but for a minimal gain it's not much but at least it's positive yards quick out to his receiver brought down at the 19. Makes his way out to about the nine. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Tackled for a loss. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? From the 11-yard line, second down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and they make the stop at the one-yard line. That makes us third and goal. how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. This is a big play right here. It's fourth and goal from the four-yard line. On the ground, inside. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Oh, 
The Rebels will use their first time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they'll get him in the backfield. So the halfback loses about two on the run. I'm sure this running back will be looking around for that guy the next time he takes a handoff. Strike to his receiver, no good. And this one is a beauty. And he's taken down at the 38. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. A little over a minute in the game. He's knocked out of bounds at the 30. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Fires it out. He gets hit out of bounds at the 23. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 21. That brings up second and nine. From the 21-yard line, it's second down. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. He throws a dart to the left. Huge play for the defense. Whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. Ole Miss will take their last time out. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. Coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.